So if you're just starting to speak on camera, if you're not really comfortable yet, you may be tempted to invest in a teleprompter. You may be curious about using a teleprompter. So in this recipe, I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna show you how this particular teleprompter works. I'm also gonna give you some pros and cons why you should or shouldn't use one. So first of all, a teleprompter is a great solution if you have really specific messaging or talking points that you have to hit on. Now, if you've been watching any of my recipes, you know that I like to speak from the heart, I just get in and out with my videos, I hit to my points, and I'm just winging it a lot of times just because I know this information. However, you may not be comfortable yet to do that. So this is what you should do if you just want to speak from the heart. First of all, without the prompter, all right, you just have to practice. All right, Speaking to camera is just something that you have to do. You have to practice reading in front of a mirror. You have to practice talking to yourself or reading to yourself in the mirror where you practice your eye contact. Remember, you have to look at the camera. You have to be natural. You have to be funny, engaging, and that will really help win over your audience as you're delivering the information. If you're kind of stiff, if you're rigid, if you're just really monotone, it's probably not going to work out for you. You just really need to work at it. However, if you want to go with this option, this is called the Pad Prompter, which is a teleprompter that works with the iPad. So it's a really nifty device. I mean, you can see this is a, a regular iPad here. And uh, there's a couple of different applications that you can use with it. The particular application that's on this one is called, let me open it up here. It is called Teleprompt Plus. And so I will open up. I know you really can't see it well here. But this Teleprompt Plus, you can see the text is kind of backwards here. I'm going to X out and go into the main screen. All right, so you're able to import your scripts from either Dropbox or from Google Drive. You can import your scripts manually. And then you have a bunch of controls here. You can mirror the text. You have guides. You can uh, change the size of the font, the text color in the background, and do some other cool things. So when you're ready to start reading your script, you just hit Start. And then it will give you a little countdown. And then your script will... Oops, did it the wrong way here. All right, let's see if this is the right way now and then your script will scroll. Now, if you really want to have uh, other controls, you can get a Bluetooth keyboard, and this has other controls where you're able to speed up the text, um, you can exit, you can have a lot of controls um, just using the keyboard. And so this works well as well. I'll go ahead and start it there so you can see it reading through. You can slow it down, you can speed it up, etc. All right, so this particular device, you can buy it at Pad, uh, the Pad, it's called the Pad Prompter. You can find it at OneTakeOnly.com, and I will also leave a description, a link to this uh, particular um, model in the, in the description below. All right, but this is the thing. If you want to read a prompter, you have to practice that as well because it's very easy to sound like you're reading when you're reading from a prompter because you are reading copy. So you have to practice being natural, just speaking through your information, though you are reading it. You also have to practice your eye contact with the prompter because your eyes may have a tendency to track left or right as you're reading the copy because you see it's still the screen, though the text is gone now. All right, so those are the couple of things you have to practice, reading naturally, sounding like yourself, and then making sure your eyes are staying focused on the lens of the camera, that they're not tracking back and forth. All right, but a prompter is a great solution. You know, you just put your camera right behind in this little area here, so you're reading right into the camera. It looks like you're talking directly to the camera. If you have lengthy copy, it works for that well as well. Uh, but just remember the pros and cons, all right? Sometimes a prompter could work for you. I like to speak from the heart as I'm doing right now, but sometimes if I have something really long, I may want to go this route, which I haven't thus far. But this is the pad prompter. Hopefully, um, if you're interested in it, you have this has been helpful. If it has been, please like this video or subscribe to our channel. And you can always visit us at webvideochefs.com for courses and other great free video production recipes. We'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.